Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have it today is going to be another how to cop video. What's going on guys? Anyways, I'm here to help you guys out, give you little tips of how I cop Yeezys usually. I usually take some good decent W's if you guys haven't seen, but lately I've been on kind of an L streak, so... But I am really afraid that my L streak will continue because these things, the, we're talking about the black V2s. From one, I'm, it's just right now, man, it's gonna be, these are gonna be a problem. These are gonna be kind of tough. A lot of people think they're gonna be easy. There's a lot of stock, but honestly, whew, the demand on this shoe is kind of out of this world right now. It's really popular. People really want it. It's a black Yeezy. We haven't seen a black Yeezy in a minute. And it's, you know, it's just a really clean colorway, to be honest, you know? I mean, the last, I, this does remind me a lot of the Pirate Blacks but you know in a static form statics and the pair of blacks you know had a baby that's what we'll be getting we're gonna get these black v2s coming out and there's gonna be two versions if you guys didn't know there's gonna be the non-reflect and then the reflective it's gonna be just like how the statics were okay it's gonna be a pretty similar release of course you're gonna get the gr which is gonna be the non-reflective you get the laces is 3m it's cool and all but the all uh, reflective 3m that's gonna be the more exclusive i'm hearing that pair is gonna be only like 4k pairs worldwide or something it's gonna be super limited it's gonna be really hard and difficult to get but for that release i from what i'm hearing right now it's gonna it's most likely gonna be a shock drop there was rumors it's supposed to come out on june 7th hopefully yeezy supply doesn't do what they did last time with the reflective statics they actually announced like hey i think it was a day after christmas we're gonna drop these at nine o'clock that usually what kind of sucks because once they tell people the time and stuff people are gonna get to set their bots and everything it's just gonna be such a it's gonna be a crap show so i'm thinking what they're gonna do is gonna be like how they did with the glows it might be on the 7th just keep an eye out but it's gonna be a shock drop and i honestly it could be sometime this week to be honest we just don't know right now because they took it off of easy supply it's most likely gonna be a Yeezy Supply exclusive. Good luck with that one, cause that's gonna be super limited. It is gonna be really dope though, but good, you know, just stay tuned. I mean, keep your phone on you at all times, keep your alerts on, so just so you know, whenever, if there is a shock drop, we'll, we'll be prepared. Now for the non-reflective, the black, the black ones, more GR, how to cop, okay? So the Yeezy Black V2 should be releasing this Friday, June 7th for the non-reflective worldwide. And it's gonna be coming in toddler size, preschool size, and of course, men's size. Uh, GS sizes is also gonna be in there, but they're gonna be count as men's sizes, so you gotta pay that full price. And for what I'm hearing, it's gonna be like rumors, rumors, it's gonna be June 6th is supposed to be the reflective, but we shall see about go with the foot ass reservation app bam bam so basically i'm going to be talking about foot locker foot action and champs of course finish line already had their raffles on their reservation app finish line already dropped their uh raffle system on here i took a big old l let me guys know how you guys did so yeah that's i didn't i never take w's on finish line on to foot locker champs foot action now what you want is to do is hopefully you're a VIP member. I think it's usually you have to spend like $300 to get a VIP member. And once you do that, you can get your 10 minute head start. What is 10 minute head start is? Blah, blah, blah. Basically what you want to do is you're going to have to want to go and you know, enter in for the black V2s for Foot Locker Champs or Foot Action in your local area or in an area that's nearby. And then once you get your 10 minute head start is, you can usually get inside here. I got nine minutes right now. I'm a VIP member. I just need to get that 10 minute hit in store check in. There's other ways to do that. You don't have to go in store to check in. That's probably mo mostly the best way to do it. But if you guys want to go on Twitter, make sure you guys follow uh, check in codes. They usually tell you uh, certain codes for different zip codes. Enter in the zip code, enter in the check in code, get your 10 minutes head start, then enter back into your zip code. Bam, bam you're good to go that way you don't go in stores and all that stuff so that's one way to do it another raffle is going to be hibbits hibbit sports they also do an in-store raffle or uh app raffles as well they usually tell the winner during friday i usually never take w's on that one either but 
you know, gotta be in it to win it. Uh, Adidas uh, app is also doing a reserve app too. There, that will be going live Tuesday on the 6th around 4 o'clock. Uh, so basically how this works is you gotta participate, you gotta make sure you're in the zone of one of these areas here like Chicago, Atlanta, Houston, Vegas, Los Angeles, all the nice good big cities that have Adidas stores. So what you do is you gotta wait till you can participate make sure you're in the zone like say you live in those areas so like in my area i can't do it and then on and then you gotta be ready you gotta click on a whole bunch of like you gotta be really fast you gotta you gotta click on the picture whenever the app comes through and that way you have the possibility to have your pair reserved and then on friday you're able to go in store and pick your pair up now that's it with the with the raffles or with the apps that's uh, one way to do it now in store raffles that's another way to do it for your local area Call around, see who's gonna be getting them or not. I'm talking about, let's say, City Gear, uh, JD Spores, Jimmy Jazz, a couple other sneakers uh, in your area. If you guys have it, I guess Chic might. I think they do online. Chic, they do rap. I think they do raffles and so does Shoe Palace. So all those areas, make sure uh, whoever gets Yeezys, call them up, see when they're gonna be doing their in-store raffles. They should be doing it either like sometime today or even you know like monday or something so call around see when they're going to be doing their in-store raffles that we can sign up now let's talk about online how we're going to do this online okay let's one way to do it is going to be called yeezy supply if you guys don't know usually they release on uh 3 a.m eastern time usually but then again it's also pretty random this is like a shock drop but stay tuned make sure you're alert on friday and to see whenever they release, enter in all your information and go through. And of course, adidas.com, you know, usually get the splash page. You're gonna have to get like at least maybe like 20, 30 tabs open up to have a little spin of death and hopefully you're able to get picked in. It's basically like a raffle system. You know, they just randomly pick whoever can get through and then you're able to buy. So another way is foot sites. Uh, usually foot sites release on 10 a.m. Eastern time or even 7 a.m. Eastern time. You, that's uh, lately it's been like around that era, that time. But we're talking about like, you know, East Bay, uh, foot action, finish line, foot locker, champs, all that good stuff. All those sites, uh, usually they release online and usually bots eat that stuff up. So like, you know, it's gotta be kind of it, 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 sometimes it freezes after a while uh, when they first release and then people are usually able to, to like finally add a cart and check out around like maybe about like 30 minutes after the release usually because I, I know that's what I know it's just it's really laggy on the site so if you guys want to check out my dude make sure you guys check out my guy soul to cart I know a lot of people have been asking me about him if you have any questions about him please feel free to DM him okay I don't have all the questions for him I'm just here to promote is the add to cart service you basically give your information he tries to cop for you on online on the day of the release and if you don't cop you get a refund yes it's a win-win situation he's running a four for one slot so that's one credit card for uh four sites and if he hits all four on one slot you only get charged for that one slot that is right i've hit multiple times on se separate occasions i usually get uh i've been lucky sometimes i get like a two for one or so so i think there's a win-win situation for me especially when i have to go to work and stuff like I, I can't just be online all day saturday i really can't it's it's nearly impossible so i'm just saying i just think that's one way to go if say you're gonna be out of town or have to work or you're just gonna be busy that friday i mean friday is gonna be a busy day so so there you guys i think i basically covered how to cop guys i hope this video guys help you guys out that's usually how i copped all my yeezys here i got most of my stuff pretty much for retail some i had to pay for resale but not, uh, it's, it's been a little bit for yeezy so i don't know for these i'm actually really nervous it's just because the demand on these shoes is so high what i'm hearing the stock numbers on these uh black v2s is about like 95k pairs like i'm hearing it's gonna be a lot of pairs but that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy do not think like that guys because there's a lot of demand on these shoes so i'm just saying just because it's a lot it, it, these things still gonna sell out it's still gonna be a problem still people are still gonna strike out still people are gonna take l's hopefully i'm not one of them but just gonna keep trying try to put your footwork in 
do your best out there and hopefully you guys are able to cop i mean there's plenty of pairs to go around but it's just like i said man demand is really high but as you can guys see as of right now uh like my size nine and a half the v2 is going for about like 500 to 450 right now during release we'll see man like i said demand is still pretty high and just usually early releases on, on these pairs right now is usually pretty high anyways but it'll go down a little bit we'll see i don't know will these things shoot up i mean i honestly i think these things are gonna shoot right back up after people take l's these things are gonna shoot right back up and like the 3ms these things are ridiculous people are going for like a thousand bucks on these things already like what so uh you know i, I kind of made a mistake on the reflective on these things here i should have copped when I, they, I had a chance man i could have copped these things for a little bit cheaper i was just being stubborn i was thinking these things weren't gonna do anything but the easy hype is kind of coming back guys the easy hype is still there man and the easy is going back to somewhat pretty limited so hope you guys are happy this is what we wanted right so it's going to be a little tougher to cop now. There, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope everybody's out there able to cop. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big, guys. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.